Hello guys, welcome to iTutor. Today we will uh, start natural hazards and disaster mitigation strategies. It's a continuation of our development and environment, development and environment chapter only. Uh, this, but this topic is not only for UGC exam, it will help you for uh, other exams also like UPSC and etc. Because disaster management is one of the important topic. So we will see some important uh, and uh, uh, vast disasters happened in India also today. Okay, and uh, natural hazard and disaster are almost interrelated with each other. And that is why it is difficult to know the difference between the two. So first of all, we will see what is natural hazard. Natural hazard is a threat or risk that take place in nature like earthquake, tsunami, volcanic eruption and landslides which happens naturally and has a negative effect on people or on environment. Natural hazards can be classified into geographical uh, that is earthquake, landslide, tsunami and volcanic eruption. Hi and hydrological that is avalanches and flood and climatologically extreme temperature drought wild uh, wild fires and meteorological that is cyclone storms or biological that is disease epidemic these all are natural hazards and one natural hazard can direct to another example earthquake can cause a tsunami of course in uh, inside the uh, sea if earthquake happened uh, it will come out as a result of tsunami and a natural disaster a natural disaster is a, an unfavorable event caused from natural process of the earth like a flood hurricane tornado volcanic eruptions earthquake tsunami and other geological process that is natural disaster if it's an effect of natural hazards on humanity okay an example tsunami in indonesia caused a great loss of property and lives that is natural disaster in the indian scenario the subcontinent is highly exposed to cyclones drought earthquake flood avalanches forest fire and landslides the government has taken proper measures for prevention and mitigation of the affected areas of disasters frequently in the himalayan region of northern india Data shows us among the 35 states are union territories in the country, 25 places are disaster prone, approximately 50 million people in our country affected by one or the other disaster every year including loss of property. The natural disasters give direct impact to the country's economy, agriculture, food security, water, sanitation, the environment and health each year. Natural disasters not only result in loss of shelter but it also also creates hardship, lack of food availability, temporary loss of livelihood and also disrupt the socio-economic activities. Though some of the losses can be covered through disaster relief and insurance. Below are the list and description of worst natural disasters of India. And 7070, Great Bengal Famine. The Great Bengal Famine was a large famine in Bengal during the British rule in the period of 1769 to 1773. Bengal Famine was caused the death of 10 million people in Bengal, Bihar and some part of Odisha. In 1839, Koringa Cyclone, the Koringa Cyclone was one of the 10 big disasters that shook India, struck at, at a tiny village of Godavari district in Andhra Pradesh. The great Koringa Cyclone killed around 20,000 people in the ancient city of Koringa. And uh, 1894, the third plague pandemic. The major plague pandemic came to British India in 18, six, uh, 1896, killing more than 12 million people in India and China alone. Third plague pandemic was initially seen in port cities such as Bombay and Kolkata, then spread to small towns and natural areas of many regions of India. And 1979, Lahol Valley Avalanche. Lahol Spiti Valley receives heavy snowfall during the winter season, cause avalanches. The Lahol Valley disaster in March of 1979 buried 200 people under 20 feet of snow, the only avalanche in Himalayas and one of the 10 deadliest avalanches in history of world. 1998 Malpa landslide. The heavy rainfall caused Malpa's landslide was one of the worst landslides in India at a village Malpa in 
Pitogad of Uttarakhand. And around 380 people were killed when massive landslide washed the entire village along with the Hindu pilgrims of Thailash Mansarovar Yatra. And next one is 1999 Odisha Cyclone. The 1999 Odisha Cyclone, also known as Super Cyclone 05B, was the most deadliest tropical cyclone in the Indian Ocean and the most destructive Indian storm since 1971. It caused almost death of 15,000 people and made heavy to extreme damage. 2011 that is Gujarat earthquake the massive earthquake occurred on India 51st Republic Day on January 26 2001 at Bachu Taluk of Kutch district of Gujarat. Gujarat earthquake had a magnitude between 7.6 and 7.7 .7 and killed around 20,000 people. And in 2002, Indian heat wave, India's heat wave in 2002 at the South region killed more than 1,000 people. Most of the death occurred in the state of Andhra Pradesh. The heat was so intense that birds fell from the sky, ponds and rivers dried up. 2004, Indian Ocean Tsunami. The Indian Ocean earthquake and tsunami occurred in 2004 at the west coast of Sumatra, killing over 23,000, uh, sorry, 230,000 people in 14 countries. Indian Ocean tsunami was one of the deadliest natural disasters in history of India. In 2007, Bihar flood was there. 2007-8, uh, Bihar flood are listed as the worst hit flood in the living memory of Bihar in the last 30 years. Bihar in India's most flood prone state, a recurring disaster appears on an annual basis and destroys thousands of human lives apart from livestock and assets, uh, assets worth millions. And in 2005, Mumbai catastrophe, 2005 Maharashtra flood was occurred just one month after the June 2005 Gujarat flood. Mumbai, the capital city, was most badly affected and witnessed one of its worst catastrophe in history of India, killing at least 5,000 people. In 2010, Eastern Indian Storm. The Eastern Indian Storm was a severe storm struck part of eastern India state spanning for 30 to 40 minutes. At least 91 people died in Indian states and over 91,000 dwellings were destroyed and partially damaged. 2013, there is Maharashtra drought. Maharashtra state was affected by the region. Uh, worst drought in 40 years. Uh, worst hit areas are uh, Jalna, Jalgan and Dule are also affected by the famine. Millions of people in Maharashtra are at a serious risk of hunger after two years of low rainfall in the region. And 2013, Uttarakhand flash flood was there. On June 2013, Uttarakhand received heavy rainfall, massive landslides due to the large flash floods. It suffered maximum damage of houses and structures, killing more than 1,000 people. Sources claimed the death toll could be rise up 5,000. Uttarakhand flash flood is the most disastrous flood in the history of India. Government has also taken various steps or strategies to reduce such a disaster through mitigation. Mitigation means action taken to prevent or eliminate the natural disaster or hazards like a flooding, earthquake, landslide, wildfires or dam failure to happen. And the risk of life, property, social and economic activities are also part of it. And what are the strategies? First of all, we will aware about the uh, disaster or natural hazards and education them how to prepare for that and preparedness uh, before uh, before the uh, flood or something we uh, uh, the um, authority will get the uh, awareness about the same so uh, people will society will prepare the same and prediction uh, and uh, the uh, department of Clim uh, climate predict how when the rain will come what is uh, and when what about the drought condition and even in their quick warning also there so uh, according to that one warning system will 
prepare for the same and adoption of zoning and land use practices and building code are required to avoid development on landslide and flood prone areas through planning can somehow reduce the disrupting impact of natural disaster these are the strategies mainly uh, adapting the disaster management that is national disaster management is there the uh, headquarters in new delhi uh, ndma okay so they will train the people they will uh, do the whatever needs they needed and they are aware uh, through newspaper and other medias also uh, they communicate with the people and they educate them about the disaster how uh, prepare for the uh, the same and uh, the prediction they will do and climate department will do uh, when rain will come if any storms are coming if any cyclones are there they will do the uh, prediction and uh, then they will start warning then adopt adopt the uh, zone uh, cry, they will divide the zones uh, how much affect this zone and like uh, they will divide the zone and uh, they use the land use practices also they use and uh, uh, they take uh, needful uh, measures for this uh, for the uh, well being of the people national disaster management system in india has take proper measures for prevention and mitigation of the after effect of the disaster long term measures have been taken up but it also required proper mechanism wherein there is a pre set assignment of roles and functions to various institutions at the central state and the district level and uh, we will see uh, some more um, disasters that is kashmir flood that is in 2014 jammu and kashmir and its adjoining area started receiving heavy rainfall from 2nd september 2014 and soon after on 5th september jhelum river in srinagar started overflowing so the river flooded the streets submerging vital transportation routes and causing several casualties and a huge loss of property approximately 277 people lost their lives in india in kashmir flood and the cyclone hood hood visakhapatnam in 2014 originated from low pressure system in the andaman sea on 6th october 2014 hood hood transformed into a severe cyclone storm by 9th october and uh, it reached its peak strengthened with the wing speed of 175 km per hour shortly before hitting visakhapatnam it caused in a extensive damage to the city and the neighboring areas including approximately 124 death and damage of around 21900 crores that is about cyclone hood hood in visakhapatnam and in 2015 there is a disaster the chennai flood heavy rainfall due to annual north east monsoon in the month of november december 2015 severely affected the southern part of india especially especially Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh more than 500 people lost their lives and over 80 lakh were displaced the damages are estimated to be in excess of 20000 crores making it one of the costliest disaster of the year and cyclone vadda 2016 uh, the very severe cyclonic storm vadda was the fourth cyclonic storm as well as the most intense tropical cyclone of the 2016 north indian ocean cyclone season and the system struck the andaman and nicobar island as well as south india before later affecting somalia and uttarakhand earthquake 2017 a magnitude 5.1 earthquake struck india at a depth of 16.1 km meter near uh, rudraprayag district in the state of uttarakhand on february 6 2017 and tremors uh, were felt continuously for 30 seconds in national capital delhi ncr and neighboring gurgaon punjab and other part of north india one person was injured with panic scenes around the epicenter many cracks in buildings were reported and in 2018 2019 there is a uh, there was kerala flood severe flood affected the south indian state kerala due to uh, usually high rainfall during the monsoon season it was worst flood in kerala in nearly a century over 483 people died and 140 are missing uh, in one year only and because two year there is a continuous flood situation was there in kerala about a million people were evacuated all 14 district of the state were placed to on lead red alert according to the kerala government one six of the total population of kerala had been directly affected by the flood and related incidents 
and in 2020 there is cyclone fani was there extremely severe cyclone storm fani was the first severe cyclonic storm of the 2019 north indian ocean cyclone season and also the strongest tropical cyclone to hit the state of odisha since the 1999 odisha cyclone as it approached odisha uh, fani reaches its peak intensity on may 2 2019 with the maximum sustained wind speed of to, to 209 to 251 km per hour to curb the damage caused by the cyclone the central and the state government made a lot of preparations which include evacuation public warning on communication channel and the reading uh, reading of naval ships and aircraft the overall damage caused by fani in india and bangladesh combined is estimated to be around 58000 crores 8.1 billion dollar is there however a majority of the losses were restricted to the state of odisha and the last in 2020 uh, 2021 all of you know about covid 19 pandemic that is also a disaster that is also a pandemic it's in, under the natural disaster only the covid 19 pandemic in india is a part of worldwide pandemic of corona diseases 2019 and caused by severe acute respiratory syndrome corona virus 2 that is sars cov 2 The first case of COVID-19 in India which originated from China was reported on 30th January 2020. India currently has the largest number of confirmed cases in Asia as of May 2021. That, that is now all of you in lockdown now. I hope you all are doing well in between. And India has the second highest number of confirmed cases in the world after the United States with 25.4 million reported cases of COVID-19 infection and 283-248 death as of the 19 May 2021. This is about our recent pandemic and disaster happening uh, in India. In Okay, this, is, this will be maybe a history after two or three years but nowadays we are facing ma- main major uh, disaster is uh, covid 19 okay so what are the natural disasters you can classify as a, a geophysical biological meteorological hydrological and climatological okay so uh, in nowadays we are facing covid 19 that is under the biological phase that is a infection that is a epidemic that is infectious and insect bites that is nipa and other are in kerala uh, they faced that is also under the biological uh, natural disaster is there okay and geological ge- geophysical are earthquake volcano landslide rock fall these are the geophysical and meteorological are local storm tropical and extra tropical cyclones and tornadoes and hydrological are tsunami flood hail storm landslide and rock fall that's also wet rock fall are two type one is dry and other one is wet and climatological are heat wave cold wave drought forest fire these are climatological so these are the natural disasters and uh, small classification and uh, adverse even that result from natural process of the earth that is the natural disaster and in this slide you can see the disaster management cycle in, uh, in next classes we will discuss about our disaster management also it's very important topic and this is uh, the these all uh, process we already discussed the disasters this is the under control of disaster management okay so uh, they will do their uh, disaster management through response recovery mitigation and prepare, uh, preparations okay this um, preparation they will do preparation uh, pre impact that is a pre impact that is pre planned okay that is a preparation before the uh, disaster happened they do they do their preparations and after in the time of emergency they do the responses how uh, the situation they say they will do the response and they will do the recovery also they will do the restoration and the reconstruction process so that's a part of recovery and after that the mitigation process will happen that is capacity building it's very important so this is the cycle of disaster management this is the ongoing process there is no stop because uh, disasters are continuation only one cyclone will happen and uh, it will go and next will come and flood also like that so yearly uh, we saw uh, from the 70s 70th century onwards until now we are facing many disasters okay not only natural disaster also man made disaster also there 
because uh, human beings are doing the uh, you know worst thing through uh, environment so some uh, man made mid disasters also happening in between but m- most natural disasters are we see the classification also so go through this video we will discuss disaster management uh, uh, detail about next videos so just go through the list of our disasters happened in indian history so very important and also difference of natural hazard and disaster you just go through the definitions very imbo- important that okay so this is about today so thank you and to do uh, like and comment on our video also so do the subscription also if you like the video so we will see tomorrow thank you